This Harris sweater from Carriage Trade was the start of this outfit, and I fell in love with it for two reasons, maybe three. Uh, first, it felt like a ski sweater, but like a really kind of stylish take on one. Second, I love the stripe detail on the sides of the sleeve, and that goes right up the neck. And third is the writing, the goddess in you. I thought that was really fun and cute. Um, because it's a little wider and it's, it's, it's nice and thick and warm. And so I didn't want to front tuck it because I didn't want it to bunch. I like the way it's just kind of sitting and holding. It has a band here. So if you want to pull it down, it still looks really nice down, but I pulled it up, um, because it was, there's just a little bit of width to it. I wanted to do it with something fitted and these Lejeune's pants, uh, from carriage trade as well, um, were perfect for that. They, they're, they're in an interesting pant because they're stretchy. They're kind of a cross between a pant and a legging. I'm 5'3 and they just come to my ankle, so they're a good length, but I wanted to wear them because I was wearing the jacket. I wanted to wear these ankle boots. These are older Chloe. Um, and because I was wearing these ankle boots, I chose to fold my pants a couple times so that they sit just above the boot. I like to see a little bit of skin sometimes. So that was kind of the components here. Um, just a really casual outfit for the day. I mean, I could have worn this with sneakers, a knee-high boot, an over-the-knee boot. Anything really goes for this. Uh, accessories, I didn't want to do anything major. My wrists are covered. So I just, um, yeah, I didn't bother putting anything on my wrist. I just put a little stud earring in my ear just to kind of finish myself off. Um, with the jacket being so big and bulky, I didn't, it, you know, the hood would probably hit my ears. I didn't want anything fussy. So yeah, so then I topped it off. I was wearing it with this because I wanted to stay warmer. And this is the, uh, the Chris Joy jacket. I picked this one up. I mean, they have it all over the place. I picked this one up at Holt Renfrew with Sophia Shu Aficionado. Um, I'll tag her below as well. These joggers from the Pink Door were the start of this outfit, and I love them for a couple of reasons. I like that they're kind of loose and baggy. They have a pocket, they are gathered a little at the bottom. I like to pull my joggers up, so they were perfect with the boot. Um, but when I brought it home, um, I immediately thought of this red sweater that I have. It's an older H&M, maybe two years old. I love red and green together. Not everybody does, but I mean, tis the season too, so why not? And because I was doing the red sweater, I knew I wanted to pull in my red, older Jimmy Choo ankle boots. And since I was doing so much red, I threw on um, this Gucci coat, which is almost identical to the red in the sweater. And of course, I grabbed this bag, which is the uh, one of my newer Gucci bags as well because it has it has a bit of green in it and it also has this nice red stripe so I kind of feel like that all kind of pulled together accessory wise because I have this high turtleneck I decided to choose these little gold earrings I cannot tell you where they're from they were a gift um, but so I just kept it small I kept them gold because of the buttons and the detailing on the bag so I didn't feel like introducing another metal and that's quite simply how this outfit came together but pants like these joggers are, I mean, they're a great staple. You can wear them with sneakers. You can wear them with combat boots. You can wear them with heels and dress them up. Um, you know, I chose a, a heeled boot, but if it's, you know, when it gets warmer, um, then definitely I will do these with heels. And I wear them, like I said before, I wear them pulled a little bit up. Um, I don't like them sitting at my ankle, but that's, you know, personal preference as well. But yeah, you could do a t-shirt with a blazer, uh, a very, a very versatile pant if you're interested in picking them up. These vegan leather paper bag commando pants from Carriage Trade were the start of this outfit. And because they're so voluminous and there's so much fabric, I wanted to pair them with something fitted on top. And so this Lejeune's top is a little bit see-through, um, but it has a nice texture and has this nice scoop neck. I thought was the perfect pairing because it keeps me a little open here. Um, it's nice and fitted. I can tuck it in to make it a bit more streamlined on top and it balances the proportion of the pants nicely. Um, when I was deciding on shoe, I was going to be inside. Um, so I opted for a strappy sandal. These are my Louboutin ones. Um, but if you're going to be outside, you could easily choose a nice like ankle boot, sock boot, a pump with some tights underneath, whatever the footwear is up to you. I just wanted, because they're, if you can see, because there's so much fabric and I'm covered everywhere else, I wanted to keep my feet open. Accessory wise, because I was wearing these shoes and they have the silver detailing, I did silver jewelry with it. I chose this older Jenny Bird, um, I think it's the 
it could be the Tony, I'm not sure, um, necklace with the matching bracelet. Didn't do anything on my ears because I just wanted to keep it really simple. I could have done a little stud, but you know, I just opted not to do earrings. And then a very simple bag because we have texture in the top, because we have the silver, a little studding in the shoe, and the pants, you know, there's a bit of sheen. I just kept the handbag very neutral. So let's talk about these pants. I chose to tie them on the side. You can just see I just kind of let the tie kind of just hang because I didn't want any more bulk um, in this area. I mean, I could have done a little bow here and kept it off to the side. I could have tied it in the front. I could have tied it in a bow. You know, vegan leather is a little bit stiffer than a regular, like a thinner fabric. So it just creates bulk here. And I just thought keeping it nice and flat along here was a bit more flattering. And then you can really see the detailing of, you know, that kind of paper bag effect. So these pants, very voluminous. I'm going to show you how much, there's so much stretch in them. Really, I mean, you can wear them a little lower, you can wear them a little higher. Um, I wore them nice and high so that they hang a little. I'm just gonna do this right now, um, just to hold them up. Uh, yeah, I wore them a little higher so that they could hit above my ankle. If you are taller than 5'3", um, you know, and you do them this high, they'll sit a little higher. You can do them a little lower, they'll sit a little lower. But yeah, there's so much, I mean, even with all the fabric, all it's nice and soft and it gathers nicely, like it's not too bulky. The top, perfect staple. I love how subtle the patterning is in the texture of the weave in the sweater. You could wear it out because it's, you see the hand, or sorry, the wrist here is finished, and I'll pull the top out as well. You could see the top, there's a band along the bottom, so if you were wearing this top with something fitted, you can easily wear it down and have it very nice and streamlined. So I'll just show you. I mean, it doesn't work with these pants, and I'm not going to take my pants off now to show you. But you get the idea. There's a nice band along the bottom that finishes the edge. So yeah, really versatile. This vegan leather printed blazer from the pink door was the start of this outfit. And because it's kind of a showstopper, I mean, it's quite, even though it's, it's muted, it's got a nice print, it's, um, and look how soft it is. It just, it's not, it, you would think that it might be stiff because, you know, it has a bit of a shine to it, but it's really super soft, really comfortable, has a bit of stretch to it. Anyways, um, I wanted it to be kind of the star of the show and I wanted to keep everything else really neutral. Um, on a, on a nicer, sunnier day, I might do some lighter neutral tones with it. I mean, it has almost like a, it's almost, it's not quite pinky peachy, something in between there. The color, it's hard to see on camera, but it's a really nice, it's a really nice tone underneath. I was gonna do it with some cream colored pants, but I didn't have the right tank to put on with it, and it was a gloomy day, so I thought I'd, go, I'd, I'd just go black. Even though this is not black, it's almost like a purpley gray, but you'd have to see it in person anyways. It's, I mean, color, 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 colorways are really nice on it. Anyways, so I wanted to keep everything else really subtle around the blazer. Um, so I did, these are the, um, I've had these for maybe a month or so, maybe two, uh, from the pink door as well. These uh, button fly high-waisted jeans with the frayed edge. I'm not sure if they still have them. Uh, if I remember to ask, I'll put it in the notes below. Um, otherwise, uh, yeah, you, you, I guess you could DM them and see if they still have these uh, jeans or similar. They've always got really great ones coming in. Um, I could have done a black shoe, but I had these uh, suede Kate Louboutins lying around. They're, they match quite nicely with the blazer. If you have, like even the nude pump, if I, I was going lighter, like with the cream colored denim, I probably would have used these but um, my hair's sticking to my face. Uh, both, both work really well. And I just wanted something different, something else to kind of bring this jacket in um, and not just have everything black. Uh, I chose uh, silver accents um, for my accessories because I felt it was just, um, I could have gone both ways. I didn't feel, I didn't want the, the yellow with the, with the colors in here. I didn't feel it was right. And then, so I chose my older Hermes bracelet, my Jenny Bird bracelet, um, just some really simple um, like teardrop silver earrings. I can't remember where I got them. Um, but yeah, I mean, very basic, very s simple. I wanted to pull the black in, that's why I chose the, the black in the bracelet. And then because I was using these pieces, I chose to use this YSL bag, which I wear all the time. I didn't want to pull the chain out, I was just using it as a clutch. I didn't want 
that much silver in it. I just kept it really kind of subtle because like I said, the jacket was the star of the show. This gorgeous national limited top from Carriage Trade was the start of this outfit. And as soon as I saw it, I knew that it would be kind of the focal point of my outfit. So I wanted to keep everything else really streamlined. Because of this gorgeous detail in the shoulder and upper arm and the way it's fitted along the bottom, it adds, you know, just adds that extra little bit of style to the most simplest outfit, but I wanted it to stand out. So I knew I didn't want to do it with black um, because then I found it would, I thought it would be, be too muted and I remember I had these older rag and bone pants in my wardrobe and so I thought this will be like a, a nice grounding for the you know the detail in the shoulder and this top in itself. Paired this with my older blue suede uh, Pigalle Louboutin shoes um, because I thought it would make just the bottom more streamlined um, and then the, uh, the top could pop. Um, because I was doing this bright blue, I wanted to do gold jewelry. Um, and then that's why I picked this older Gucci clutch. So I'm just gonna put this down because this was kind of like just an add on to the outfit. Um, and then I, I've worn these uh, Valentine Rouge earrings from Carriage Trade before, and I thought that would be like a nice statement. Even though you don't see them much with my hair down, they do poke around because my hair is so thin, they do poke around, you can see them quite a bit when I move around. And then there's this ring from the Carriage Trade as well. It is, I'm gonna write it down, Maison Irem. I'm not sure if I'm saying it correctly, but see the little B? Now you could get, they have all sorts of letters. Um, if they're out of your letter, you can order one with your initial um, on it, but you know, they had a little B, so I just put that on, just put that on right now, like it's a cute little ring. Um, for me, it fits here, it could be a pinky ring on you, it could be on, you know, another finger. But I thought that was a really nice detail to go with this outfit. I don't do a lot of rings typically, but this one I had to have because it has the letter B on it. Back to this top though, I think it's a great staple um, for for any outfit. Great with jeans as well. Dress it up, dress it down. Now I know any, someone's gonna ask me about the tuck that I did. So this is the top with it out. And I mean, it's fine if you wanna cover this area. It's nice and, you know, somewhat fitted on me. I would have liked it like this, right? So it makes it more streamlined, but because it was a little looser, I just gathered it up, take it to the back, and then I twist, and then I tuck. And how that works on, you know, your outfit, twist, doing that little back tuck, will depend on the bottoms that you're wearing, depends on the length of the top, depends on how it fits. But I like it because it, it raises it, you don't really see a front tuck. Um, you know, I just play around with the back so it's not, you know, sticking out as obvious, but then it just gives it a bit more of a streamlined This looking. metallic Meyer official sweater was the start of my outfit, and I'm sure you can assume why. It's sparkly, it's shiny, it draws all the attention, so I built my outfit around it. I'll get back to the sweater in a minute, but let's go through the pieces first. Because of the gold yellowish coloring in the sweater, um, I drew upon my color theory and opted to go with a purpley plum pant to contrast it. Um, these are Zara, they're high-waisted pants. Um, I know some people get triggered when I fold my pants. I like it. I decided to fold them this time because I like the proportion with the kind of larger sweater. Uh, when I do something big, on top, I'd like to either do something slim on the bottom. When it's not slim on the bottom, I fold um, just to draw the eye up a bit. I could have worn them down. That's personal preference. You do you, I'll do me. Um, I chose black for my shoes and my handbag to tie in the black band on the sweater, just kind of tie in that piece. Um, because uh, the sweater's shiny, I grounded the outfit with some shiny patent old Louboutin. Um, I think the Flaquettas uh, from years ago, my only shiny bag, which is my old YSL. Um, kept the jewelry really simple, uh, Jenny Bird. Um, because this is such a statement in itself, I just used these bracelets to kind of finish off. Nothing on my ears because you couldn't really see anything with my hair down. And yeah, I just tied it all to just keep it nice and simple and the sweater as part of um, just the main focus of the outfit. Now back to this gorgeous sweater. It is designed by a local Toronto designer, Ross Meyer, and the, um, the Instagram handle is at the Meyer official, which I will put in the video, and it's also tagged in my posts as well. I love it. It's 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 
you know, it's it's a simple sweater, but it's not simple in the sense it's so sparkly, it's so comfortable. Um, it's not actually sequins, if you can see. It's a met metallic fabric, so you're not going to have sequins falling off of you um, throughout the night or throughout the day. I always, uh, so I'm wearing a small, I like my pieces oversized, but you can see on my body shape, I'm 5'3", about 105 pounds, if you're looking at sizing. It is a little bit uh, larger. The extra small, I tried that as well. It fit perfectly, but you know me, oversized. I like to tuck in just to give myself a bit of length. Anyways, um, yeah, you know, it's a really nice, it's a nice addition to a wardrobe in the sense that it'll add a little bit of drama to your outfit. It's not over the top. I could have done it with all black as well to keep everything else muted. This would be great with jeans um, as well. I think it's just a really fun staple. It's lined, as you can see, it's a little bit lined underneath. Really nice against the skin, really nice and warm. Um, yeah, I think it's just a good piece to have in addition to your sparkly wardrobe.